so in the last video we were able to connect to our chat application server using browser clients so in this video let's see how we can implement the chat form so that we can actually type in messages here and they are sent to the server and to the other connected clients okay so let's head over to our text editor let's remove all the code inside of the script tag here because um, we don't want to make use of that um, but first before we do that let's come in our main.js we're gonna copy one piece of code here which is this connection line here and um, actually let's copy everything in there and let's remove this script tag um, so we're gonna link to it using source equal to js slash main dot js okay and um, right at the top of those two we're gonna link to um, two other libraries which are a jQuery and the jQuery cookie okay so first let's um, link to jQuery.js and let's link to jQuery.cookie.js okay so in main.js here let's paste in all those code but um remember when you're doing a jQuery code you have to do it inside document.ready so document.ready and then let's pass in an anonymous function um so that everything inside here runs right after um, our browser has loaded the DOM, okay? So DOM is just the HTML elements that you see. So we're doing a connection, uh, and then after we connect, we're just sending a message to the server saying, to message test from a client, but that's no longer necessary since we're gonna implement the form soon. But one thing that we need to do is, let's cache the, um, our form, okay? So let's do var chat form equal to, and then let's select the form using jQuery, and the form, since it has a class of uh, chat form, we're going to do dot chat form. So I'll just show you that that's the case here. Um, form has a class of chat form. So we select that. And then let's put an independent handler on it. Let's say uh, chat form dot on submit. And uh, what do we want to submit? We want to um, submit an anonymous function here. Well, run it after the chat form has been submitted. And we want to prevent the default action. So let's say e dot prevent default and um, let's get the message. So let's say var message equals to. Um, so since in our chat application form here has other prop um, fields inside it, like the um, text area which is going to contain the chat application um, message, let's um, cache that as well. So let's select it using the ID of message. So um, not just chat form. We're going to just say message input field equal to chat form dot find. Since it's inside the chat form, we make it easy for jQuery to find. And it's going to be with an ID of message. And also let's um, cast the messages list. And a messages list is just this URL tag here with the class of message list. Okay, so that would be just a regular jQuery selector. We're gonna pass in that as a class. So dot message list, and then um, var message here equals to message input field dot var. Basically, anytime a user types in anything in the text area here, and then submits the form, we want to get that message. And what do we want to do? We want to send it to the server. So since we have connection, we can do connection dot send message. And then after sending the message, we want to prepare that message as a list element to this messages list here. Okay. So let's do messages list. And um, dot append or prepend. And what do we want to prepare? We want to prepare an li tag. And the li tag will have as message as the text in there. Okay, so just do a plus, and then we close the li tag here. Okay. And one last thing that we want to do as well is anytime a message has been received from the um, server, we also want to append that to our um, list of messages. Okay, so let's do messages list dot uh, prepare. And what do we want to prepare? We want to prepare an li plus e dot data, since that's what's going to um that's where the message will leave anytime it's received from the server. So um like we did earlier up front, let's just close the li tag. Okay, so let's go to our browser now and see what we have. So I'm just quickly going to um 
refresh these two. So let's do a quick refresh here, quick refresh. Okay, so now let's try to send messages from here to here. So let's say, hey, Firefox. Let's quickly send it. As you can see, it is appending it here, and it's also appending it here. So let's say, hi, Chrome. Send. And let's see what we have in the console here. So anytime we connect, it's um, connecting here. But now we are not outputting the messages in the console here. We are putting them actually in the browsers that are doing the sending and the receiving. Okay, so um, so that brings us to the end of this um, tutorial video. And I thank you for watching. And as usual, if this video was helpful, please um, share it with your friends and um, colleagues. And I thank you for watching. I will see you soon in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.